when you study you know, this concept of illusion, things that look impossible but aren't, you end up gaining a very, very intense, wo pragmatic working knowledge of how human attention and perception works, because all these happen literally you know, in people's minds. Essentially, what you're about to see is a lot more impressive if you have someone actually do the quality control check. And what's your name, by the way? Marco. Marco. So Marco in charge of quality assurance for the sake of this. And so everyone gets a good view, um, thanks to Mark on close-up camera. You get to see every tiny detail. If you're in the front row, you can watch live or you can watch on the screen. And the aim of this, with the, with the sleeves up and nowhere to hide, is to get the creases in that bill in just the right spots. And we can create the illusion very slowly, with nowhere to hide, of that five transforming <laughs> into what looks a heck of a lot like a $50 bill. <laughs> it's amazing, right? <laughs> now, I mean, now, as, as illusions go, that's a pretty convincing one. I mean, it looks like a 50, it sounds like, it's got that distinctive plasticky noise to it. But the thing is, and if you think for a second, you know this must be an illusion. Because if I could really do that, <laughs> I may be having some lifestyle you know, shifts in this process. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, it is just an illusion, and we only get about 30 seconds out of this, which sucks financially but it's fantastic visually because it means you guys get to watch the illusion fade, which while not as fiscally satisfying, I have to admit, almost looks like a piece of trick photography, even though you can see it happening live as the illusion melts back into that five from whence it came. All right. Now, now, what's going on there? Because, again, there's, then this is the essential nature of all of you know, magic, illusion, whatever you want to call it, is you're, you see something that your rational brain interprets as not being possible. So it, essentially, it's a state of simple cognitive dissonance. What appears to be happening, you know it can't be happening, the conflict loop goes and your brain explodes. <laughs> and over the last 13 years of learning, being fascinated by these things from that very first card trick I saw that did, had that exact, exact same effect on me, what I've always been trying to find ways to do is walk that difficult line between you know, letting this, ama you know, this amazing art form breathe and do, do its amazing thing, but also not actually lying about it, you know, not misrepresenting it. And one of the ways that I've always been experimenting with is to give, you, is to give audiences, you know, in this case you guys, little small insights into exactly what's going on.